Hi, my name's Sophie Walker. This is a How Did I Do special at Sunningdale Golf Club. So it's Foursome's Week, Sunningdale Foursome has been going on for ages. I've been playing in this event for 15 years nearly. Really excited, it really kicks off the season. I'm gonna be playing with Peter Finch in a practice round. I can't wait to get out on the old course. Sunningdale Folsom's is always played in March and you can be a male professional or amateur and a female professional or amateur. Now the male pros play a plus one, the amateurs play a scratch, the women pros play a two handicap and the amateur women play a four handicap. All of us play off the very back tees here at Sunningdale so we're playing it nearly as long as we possibly can. Now the old course is generous to people that don't hit it as far as me but the new course is very long. You play one round on the old and one round on the new on the Tuesday and then once you get through there everything's on the old course. So you'll start off with two rounds on the Tuesday and one on the Wednesday or vice versa and then you're going into 36 hold match play all the way through to the final. It's a unique event. It was started in 1934. We had 46 entries. We now have 128 and we're oversubscribed. It's foursomes. We have amateurs and professionals, um, young and old, and men and women. We were one of the first mixed, major mixed competitions. We have our own special handicapping for all the players. It's done over, played over four days on the old and the new between t t today and on to Friday. Now I first came to Sunningdale, I think it was in 2008, to see the amazing Karen Stupples start to her back nine. She eagled this hole, the first, Albatross the second in the British Open. Can you imagine that in your final round? That is how you cure some nerves. You know, it's been going for quite a few years, this little tournament, and uh, it's a blend of the amateurs, and it's a blend of the, some of the senior pros, and, you know, quite often we get the young pros playing as well. So it is fun, and that's why we're here. It's not all about, you know, paychecks at the end of the day and one point something million pound win. This is just about playing golf and enjoying it, and then uh, having a good bunch of people we see, you know, most yearly. It's an awesome event. A, the golf course is amazing, uh, but B, the characters you meet. Uh, my partner and I, is my pro from the golf club, uh, we've been doing it, what, 12 years now, 15 years? and met some awesome pros, played against Tommy Fleetwood back in uh, the day just before he made it to the superstar status, but uh, the experience all round is fantastic. Fifth hole at the old course, it's 420 yards into a stiff breeze. Thankfully, this would be a hole where we would get a shot at stroke index two, but it's something to really bear in mind of which one of us is going to take the tee shots around this course. There's a wonderful atmosphere here. I think that, I have to say that's partly um, I'd like to say two of the best inland courses in the country in the world. Uh, the atmosphere at Sunningdale here, uh, you can feel it throughout the competition. The seventh hole is a blind tee shot, dog leg left to right. It's really difficult, you've got to pick your point in the distance. So we've picked a V in the trees, fingers crossed on the bounce down there, but I never really like uh, tee shots where you can't see where you're going, hence why I've given it to Pete. We've had probably the wettest February on record, so they say, and uh, this course has held up very, very well. I think of some of my home courses back in Scotland, uh, not even playing, or, or, or on temporary greens or temporary tees and things. So here we're, we're still playing, and you can you can play around here, and uh, even your shoes will be still quite clean at the end of the day. So that's a good sign that it's reasonably dry. With foursomes, it's really important to get the teeing right. So it's 282 yards to this par four, which is why Pete is going to hit the driver because he can definitely reach and I wouldn't be able to. The conditions have been pretty tricky. If I tell you that over the last five months, we've had over 24 inches of rain and that's over twice the average you'd get at this time of the year. We're very lucky because we've got sandy soil, it's bagshot sand, um, and, and also we've got fantastic green staff who've been working day and night on it. The famous halfway house at Sunningdale, now you can play it from the new and the old, 
sausage sandwiches are the go-to in here. And rumour has it, Darren Clark has the record. Now, I wish I could spend long enough here, but Forsens is such a quick game. And I've been thinking, I've given Pete the t-shirt on this one so I can finish my sausage sandwich in the wall. Willie Park Jr. designed the old course. And what it's famous for is not only the heather, but it's bunkers. They're so well positioned. And this one here on the par five is about 260 yards off the tee. And then there's a stagger of bunkers going across the fairway. You've really got to think about it. It's not just a par five, you stand there and whack it, but really think about positioning. Some of the pairings we've had, um, watching Tommy Fleetwood, Luke Donald, Paul Laurie, um, all kinds of moments. Last year we had two young uh, female amateurs uh, winning, which was great for the game and for women's golf too. So why do I love playing Sunningdale Forsens? Well, first of all, two unbelievably good golf courses. The old, I've got to say, is one of my favourite of all time. Heathland traditional golf course. Reminds me of when I used to play a lot of golf around this area as an amateur and coming down to watch the Weetabix Women's Open. Just some really good memories. And also, I can't think of many events where men, women, pros and amateurs can play together in foursomes, the quickest format of golf. What is not to love about this event? So this is our second appearance at Sunningdale Foursomes together. <laughs> Have you heard much about the event before I invited you? No. Nothing? To be honest, no. Well, I'd kind of heard about it, but in the back of my mind, I'd I wouldn't be able to tell you, apart from the format, <laughs> like, in the name, in the name like, what it was about or where, I just, I didn't know anything about it, but it was always a place for me, Sunningdale, that like, you're not going to get on, really. It's one of those places in my head where, you know, you can't exactly turn up at the gate and knock on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you do Twilight? Um, so <laughs> to actually come down to play and experience it and, I mean, bear in mind, this is like literally one of the best courses in the world, the old that we're on now, so. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty awesome and for the entry fee was under a quid each 100 quid each i mean you get a practice round and then at least one round so that's like two rounds 50 quid around can't go wrong really can and what's your favorite hole on the old you're playing the old today i love that par five like it's it doesn't seem the most dramatic what is it 14. oh yeah yeah the one that um... Yeah, 14. Yeah, it's just quite. All the bunkers down. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's no elevation change or anything. It's just like beautifully bunkered and just looks great. And but you could pick, you know, it, every hole. Yeah, there's there's not really there's not really a weak hole on the course, is there? When you think about it. No, I I really like the par fives here. I think they're always framed very well mm. and a good risk reward as well. Yeah. Let's hoping they'll be rewarding us this week. We're gonna do it. Uh, go, won't we? well, it's a bit of a risk to say, but <laughs> we will see. I think we'll be fine. We'll be I'll be fine. fine. 